Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a great day. So today's video is really fun because it is my everyday hair and makeup routine. I have gotten requests for this so many times and I did a makeup routine video last year, but I don't remember if my hair was part of it and I get a lot of questions about how I get like these everyday waves I have. This is my natural hair. I used to wear extensions all the time and I am not about that extension life these days since I just don't have time for it all the time. So today's video is all about my natural everyday hair care routine, the products I've been loving to wash and style my hair, and then how I go about getting these waves, as well as my everyday makeup routine. It's super easy. It really hasn't changed a lot from the last year at all, but I wanted to show you guys just the general way I've been getting ready lately. If you're new to my channel, then welcome. My name's Olivia. I do videos on stuff like this, beauty, fashion, lifestyle, as well as motherhood and parenting and just real life stuff. I really pride myself on showing real life things on this channel so I would love if you subscribe so I could have you back and you could join my YouTube family and without further ado let's get into the hair and makeup routine so first things first I'm gonna start with my hair and take you all the way back to the very beginning of my process which is when I wash my hair and I'm in the shower I wash my hair about two to three times a week I usually like to go every three days or so and lately the products I've been loving to wash my hair are ovation now if you haven't heard of ovation hair you definitely want to check them out today's video is actually sponsored by them so thank you so much to them for working with me on this today I'm gonna to be talking to you guys about their holiday sets so they have the perfect holiday gift sets coming out just in time for gift giving season they actually have five different holiday sets coming out so you can get one for anybody in your life no matter what their hair type is so the system I've been using is a five-step system we've got shampoo we've got a scalp treatment conditioner a deep moisturizing conditioning mask and then a leave-in conditioning detangling spray as well so first up I'm starting with the shampoo this is Ovation's color therapy shampoo so it's going to fight fading it's going to boost shine and also it's sulfate free I love when products are sulfate free I wash my hair with this usually one to two times depending on how long it's been since the last time I washed my hair but before I condition it what's really cool is Ovation's cell therapy hair and scalp treatment this stuff is awesome and for all of you mamas out there who are dealing with postpartum hair loss like I did or maybe you have a dry scalp or an itchy scalp we're going into winter season it's that time of year this is for you so this is a leave-in treatment you're going to put it on your scalp use as much as you feel like you need usually like a quarter size amount or so and I run it through like the roots of my hair so that it can focus on my scalp but really try and get it through the rest too as much as I can get with that product I've squeezed out I leave it on for three to five minutes and there are so many benefits to this amazing product first off it's clinically proven to reduce hair breakage by up to 80% after one use. It's going to reduce hair breakage by up to 80% after one use. I'm just going to repeat that because that is so cool. And like I said, if you're losing hair like crazy, we all go through that phase after having a baby. This would be a great one to work into your routine. This is a salon quality product. It's a high-end solution for all different hair types. So like I mentioned, you don't have to have postpartum hair loss. You don't have to have color treated hair like me. This will really work no matter what your hair type is. With all of the heat products that we use in our daily routine, even today I'm gonna to be showing you how I blow dry my hair and I curl it to get these waves and get the look I like. We could all benefit from something like this because it's going to help us achieve that healthy hair that we all desire. And as you can tell, my hair's gotten a lot healthier in the last year, so I'm so excited about that. Cell therapy also significantly improves combability, static and flyaways, it helps with split ends, volume, body and bounce, it's shine, gloss, like pretty much anything you could want, you will get out of this cell therapy product. But if you're not interested in the cell therapy, the gift set, like I said, comes with an array of different products. So moving on to the next one is their conditioner. This is the color therapy conditioner that I like to use after the cell therapy. So I use my shampoo, then the cell therapy scalp treatment, then I apply the conditioner and I don't let this sit for too long because I've already let the cell therapy treatment set for a couple minutes and then coming up next I have this deep conditioning mask. This thing is like I've fallen in love with this. This mask combined with the cell therapy scalp treatment are just like they provide so much moisture to my hair and leave my hair feeling so silky smooth when I get out of the shower. It's amazing. So what I also really like about this intensive repair mask is that it doesn't need to sit on for too long. Oftentimes when we do these deep conditioning masks in the shower, the instructions say to leave them on for 15 or 20 minutes. And I don't have 15 or 20 minutes to be sitting there waiting for a mask to be done 
to be done even if I'm like shaving and doing all that stuff in the meantime this one only requires that you leave it on for three to five minutes so the routine just feels really natural because while the scalp therapy treatment is sitting I can like wash my face and wash my body and exfoliate and then while this one's sitting I can shave and then my shower's done but I still got in the deep moisture I need from these two products so I really become a huge fan of them that's it for in the shower then once I'm out of the shower it's time to brush through the mess <laughs> what has really helped me is this next product in the system so this is ovations leave-in detangling conditioning spray when you first get it in the box it comes like this with the little screw top but it does come with a nozzle that you can put on so that you can spray it on your hair this holiday set also comes with a comb too at least depending on the set you get the one I got it did come with a comb which is great for brushing through those like wet tangly messes afterwards you spray this you use the comb and a brush and you're able to get through it really quickly this conditioning spray has helped detangle my hair so much I like to put my hair up in a turban when I get out of the shower a microfiber turban or a microfiber towel just really helps prevent damage and it helps prevent static for my hair but because of that when I take it out it's often really tangly just from that and so this spray really helps me get it out and comb through my hair so much easier like it works so well and like I said after I use all of these products in combination my hair has felt so soft so healthy like it's really touchable and just feels really good because I color treat my hair and as you can tell I do dye it blonde which is going to leave your hair feeling a little dry and brittle at times but these products really help me keep it so soft and so moisturized and it's really healthy because of them I really really like them so be sure to go to ovationhair.com and check out their holiday sets I will also have all the information you need for them in the description box down below they're awesome you guys are gonna love them and they make the perfect sets after I've combed through my hair the next step is to blow dry it like I said I don't do this all the time most of the time I actually try and let my hair air dry because it's a little healthier but what I notice is it just looks so much better when I blow dry it like it just because I've been filming a lot lately and that with work I just want my hair to look presentable and blow dry it really does help me I'm glad I have these products now to help combat the heat damage because I don't want to be damaging my hair all the time but as you can tell I do feel like I'm able to maintain pretty healthy hair even with blow drying it occasionally so I blow dry my hair and then I curl it some days I actually break my blow drying and curling hair process up into two days so some days I will blow dry it and just go for kind of like the straight look and then I'll curl it the next day if I have like an event or something to go to or I'm filming that day or I want to do my whole get ready with me routine that day but if it's a day like today and I'm getting ready for something like this then I will blow dry it curl it and do my makeup the same day although I've got to be honest finding the time in my schedule to be able to do all of that within one little sitting period is not frequent so after I blow dry my hair I turn my curling iron on and then while that is heating up it's time to do my makeup like I mentioned I don't do anything overly fancy as you can tell this is pretty much the basic makeup look I do in all of my videos every single day it's my go-to but I've really gotten it down in like a super quick time frame and it's a good go-to for mine so here's my makeup look all right so the very first thing I have to do is put on a little lip balm so my curler is heating up I'm just putting some primer on we don't have a lot going on today I'm just filming a little bit and we're gonna try and get out of the house and wear Christian out a little bit so I'm not doing anything too fancy with my makeup just gonna do like my everyday waves and then kind of my everyday go-to makeup too my hair and makeup routine is pretty much the exact same day after day I really don't change a lot so this truly is what I'm wearing in like all my videos this is my go-to so I have Tatcha primer that I'm starting off with this Tarte face tape foundation has been my go-to I use this every day and I just use it on a brush because it can be a little messier I really like the finish that a beauty blender leaves but a brush is like quicker for me to use I don't always have time to wet a beauty blender and pat it all over my face I can be a little more messy and quick with a big brush like this and I did not clean my brushes before this I apologize guys <laughs> this is just a morphe like blending brush and I set that with powder I just use like any foundation powder then next I don't know why but next up I like to do my brows I think because when I put foundation on they kind of like disappear on my face so I use a brow mascara to first like kind of outline my brows not outline but this starts to fill them in and add a little bit of color and show me 
the natural shape of them so that I know what to fill in with the brow pencil. I also really like brow mascaras like this for days when I don't feel like filling them in with a pencil. Sometimes I'll just do a couple layers of a brow mascara and it gives you like a nice no makeup makeup look. I also really need to get my brows done so it's actually on the agenda for today. Oh my gosh, my brow pencil is almost gone. Ah, so sad. Okay, so I'm gonna use as much as I can of this. This is my Anastasia Brow Wiz. It's my go-to, but it is almost empty. But if I'm not using that, I also have the Anastasia Brow Definer, which is just a bigger pencil like that. So this one's a little bit angled and it's a little bit th thicker. I prefer the Brow Wiz because I feel like I can be a little more precise and especially like right now when my brows are already overgrown, I really don't need to be overfilling them in. <laughs> but since this is what I have, this is what I'll work with today. And I'm not crazy about my brows. Like they are what they are. They will likely never look perfect as much as I try. So all I can do is try and make them look a little more put together. And then if I really need them to stay put all day, I'll use some clear brow gel on top of that just to make sure I don't have any little flyaways, especially when they are a little bit more furry, like right now. <laughs> Next, it's time for concealer. Tarte Shape Tape is my go-to. It has been for a long time. The only thing is I try and be a little bit lighter with it than I used to be. I feel like I used to like pack on the concealer and I just feel like it ends up weighing me down a little bit throughout the day. <laughs> I'm saying I used to pack on the concealer as I have all this on. I realize it looks like a lot. But when I use too much, I just feel like it kind of like weighs my look down during the day. So I try and go a little light-handed and I don't go crazy with contour, but I do like to just put it under my eyes and down the bridge of my nose. Although when, when I am like blending out my nose contour, I'll kind of take it up like this. And again, nothing crazy, just quick everyday makeup. And I'll usually rub any like excess that's on the brush still, just on my brow bone like this, just to kind of highlight it a little bit. Then I go in with the foundation brush I used earlier and just blend it so I don't look like a crazy person. Then real quick, I gotta set it before it gets crazy. There are lots of great setting powders out there. This one is the Laura Mercier translucent setting powder, but use what you would like. Huh, what bronzer shall I use? I think I'm actually going to use this Tarte Park Avenue Princess palette. Sometimes I'll use this one because it has the under eye shades as well as um, bronzer but I really like the contour shades. That looks much darker on camera than it is in real life, I promise. Okay, that's as dark in real life as it looks on camera. <laughs> like to bring my bronzer along my jawbone line and under my chin for that mom chin that I got going on. All right, and I know that looks a little harsh, so I'm just gonna blend it out with a big fluffy brush. Then it's time for blush because brush, brush, because blush will like wear off me easily during the day, I kind of like to layer them sometimes. So I usually start with a tart blush. I feel like I have a million of these little like travel size of them. These have like a really good color to them. And then I use a Laura Geller baked blush over that because this has like a really nice shimmer to it and it kind of deepens up the color. So if I'm filming, it makes it more noticeable on camera um, or anything like that. Then time for a little highlighter action. You can use whatever highlighter you would like, but highlighter is the secret to us moms looking awake <laughs> and put together. I am fully aware that I go overboard on the highlighter and I am okay with that because I need it. And then when people tell me I have the pregnancy glow, I'm like, oh no girl, it's highlight. I also like to take like a fluffy brush and just some really neutral eyeshadow and just put it in the crease of my eyelid. I don't go overboard on shadow because I do go for like more of a neutral look and with my lash extensions, I try and make my makeup routine as fast as possible. It's one of the benefits of extensions. It's why I do them, even though they are a little bit high maintenance, but I like that I can just add like a little bit of color and it still looks like I have a full makeup look on. Today, I'm gonna add a little bit of extra just because I'm filming. A lot of days I just skip this step. And then I 
bring some along my waterline too. I don't use eyeliner. I tend to skip eyeliner and mascara. So a little bit of shadow along the bottom just helps me out there. Then poke a little highlighter in my inner corner. And again, just emphasize my brow bone. And I'm done. So then this is just like a NYX lip liner. It actually is like the exact same color as my lips, so it really doesn't do a lot for me. <laughs> but I like to use a lip liner just to outline the shape of my lips and make them look a little bit more plump. And then I'll use like a neutral lipstick of some sort. So this is the Urban Decay in Native. And it's just like a neutral pink. This kind of like light neutral eye and a little bit of contour, lashes, and a nude lip is like my go-to. It's just super easy. I feel like it makes me look put together, but doesn't need like too much skill or anything. It doesn't need fancy products. I can use the same products year after year. Um, so yeah. All right, so now it's time for hair. Got all this here. So this is how I get my everyday waves. I do my hair at the exact same. Most of the time I will let my hair air dry unless it's a day like today where I'm blow drying it. And then whenever I wanna curl it, this is the technique I use. It's not fancy, it's super easy. You guys are gonna love it. So this is a one inch curling iron, but I've used smaller ones as well. And all I do is, and I take kind of random sections of my hair. I'll start right here. I take a section like about this big point the curling iron down and then I wrap it around the curling iron away from my face like this and I hold it there for like a few seconds not too long because I don't want to damage my hair too much with the heat but I also do want a good curl and then it pulls out like that and then I let it like kind of set and cool like that so I'm not gonna run my fingers through it just yet I know the curl looks a little tight like I don't want to do my whole head that tight but I will go ahead and curl around it and just let it cool with those tighter curls in because then when I brush it out it looks like a really nice loose wave gives you the general look and I take like sometimes I take smaller sections sometimes I take big sections there's not really a science to it or like a system that i use i just kind of do whatever i have time for or whatever i'm in the mood for that day if i need it to last like for an event i'll use tighten my curls a little tighter and then use hairspray or something but most days i don't use any product to set it i use my products to style it with like the shampoo and conditioner and detangling spray like you saw but i don't use like hairspray or gels or anything like that when i'm curling my hair really I know it's gonna have me looking a little Shirley Temple like at first, but I promise you <laughs> it ends up being cute. And the good thing about this hair is that it will last. So I'll do my hair like this and then today and then tomorrow I'll be able to wear it with the loose waves as well too, even without using hairspray. And it looks really natural. Some days it even looks better the second day because the curls are just like already slept in and everything. You can see I've got like these little wispy pieces that aren't totally curled the same, that's fine. I just leave them like that because I feel like it makes it look a little more natural. So I'm just gonna do my whole head like this, curl-wise, and then I'll be back. All right, and then that's it. So then I kind of bring it all forward and I'll honestly just let it cool like this for a little while. And then once I'm getting ready to head out of the house or do whatever I have to do, then I'll just run my fingers through it a little bit. And like I said, if I feel like I need to use a little bit of hairspray, then I will. But for the most part, I just kind of let it like air dry and cool and set like this, even if the waves are a little tighter, like up here, they're a little tighter than I would prefer, but it will end up setting and looking really nice all together. So. That's it for my hair routine, super easy. All right, and that's it. So this, I haven't brushed through my hair with my fingers. I mean, I think I did this maybe once, but as you can tell, the waves definitely fall. I haven't used hairspray still. It's been probably about 30 minutes since I last curled my hair or since like I finished filming that clip. So the waves definitely do fall and they look really natural and just really beachy and like really healthy. I just love it. This is my go-to kind of signature look. I'm like afraid to mess up my hair or change it ever, 
but I've been rocking these waves for a good like two like ten years but <laughs> so that's my completed hair and makeup routine I hope you guys enjoyed this video again be sure to check out ovationhair.com and check out their holiday sets there's so many good options for the loved ones in your life and yourself like hook yourself up too if I'm being honest thank you again to them for working with me on this video I would love if you guys leave me a comment and say hi and let me know any other requests you have for future videos as well. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.